Is it go time? It's go time. Oh, man. Go time, Kevin. Are you good? Can't do my vocal warm-ups, but we're good. Is it give us a nice clap to sync the audio and video? And then you get a lot of those. So you don't freaking look at it. I was going to do that, but I was like, oh, he might need that. That was my go-to. To calm his nerves. <laughs> Can you see my hands? Can I? No, it's all... Oh, all right. Okay, so... Who are you? I am Kevin Mann. I'm a captain of the Milford Firehouse. Great. So, Kevin, um, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. And <clears throat> where do you live? I live uh, right in town on the west side of Milford. Great. So, did you grow up here? I did. I grew up on the east side of town, and then about three years ago, I moved over to the west side. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so, you went to Delaware Valley, and then what did you do after that? Yes. After that, I uh, went to college for a little bit down in East Stroudsburg, um, then kind of just stayed in town for a while, uh, then I moved to Florida for a little bit. And found out I like the small town better, so back here I am. Awesome. So, Kevin, what do you do? Uh, during the day, my day job is uh, I work with a plumber in town, bridge service, and then besides that, volunteer full time for the Milford Firehouse. Great. Um, <clears throat> What's your title? My what? Your title? What is your title at the firehouse? Oh, captain. Do I gotta do that again? I'm the captain of the Milford. That. Can we start it again? Yeah, I go. Forget, I forget that. Go for it, buddy. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all I gotta do is say yeah. where I am? Oh, I'm Captain of the Milford Firehouse. Great. So, what does that mean? Uh, pretty much means that when we go on a call, and if I'm the ranking officer on the call, that I'm in charge of everybody on the call and in charge of the call. Uh, but then behind the scenes stuff, I am in charge of making sure all the tools are kind of up to par and they're all... Uh, in dates, if they have dates that they need to be re, re-upped at, um, and all that kind of fun stuff. Great. So, <clears throat> why do you serve the community? It's just been kind of a family thing to do. Uh, my dad joined his local firehouse where he's from when he was a teenager. Um, so I've pretty much been brought up in a firehouse. I knew everybody growing up. I was always around it. So then once I came of age, I just kind of jumped on in and here we are today. Great. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your career with the Milford Fire Department? That was a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally just be like, um, so I joined the fire department when I was 18 mm -hmm. and over the last 10 years I've worked up through the ranks. I've been like a t last year or the year before I was lieutenant um, and you know I have been the captain for the last some odd number of months. Alright. I'm ready to restart again. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about your career with the Milford Fire Department? Well, I started about, this is going on my 11th year, so I've been there for 10 full years. Uh, just started as a probation firefighter, just doing all the kind of dirty work. Uh, went up from there, became an uh, interior firefighter, and ooh, Two years ago, I became lieutenant. I was lieutenant for a year. Uh, then last year, I became captain, and now I'm a captain. Great. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Fire Safety Month and what the Milford Fire Department is doing? So October is Fire Safety Month, and we're going around town to the local uh, preschools in town. we got CDD and Anshi School, for name a few. Um, just kind of go there. Uh, talk to the kids about fire safety, what to do, what not to do. Um, show them a little fire truck. We have somebody stand in front of them, normal clothes, and then we dress them up in all the gear so the kids know that if they see someone like that in an emergency, that they shouldn't be scared. They're just there to help them. Oh, that's great. Um, uh, um, okay, so why do you love Milford? Just, I love the quaint little town of it all. Um, kind of obviously grew up here. Uh, it's been kind of a family thing. My grandpa was born and raised actually in the borough. Um, he met my grandma right down at Milford Beach. And then um, 
he graduated from what's now Joey's Pizza at the Milford High School, and they raised their two daughters there. Um, then they, my mom and her sister both graduated from Delaware Valley, and just kind of keeps on going down the line. Do you plan on staying in the borough? I do. I moved away for a little bit, but now I came back and I realized the small town is kind of the best place to be. That was a good answer. That was a that really was good. good answer. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Um, Great. He says, you um. You would have got the, uh, you would have got the question. First? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Um, uh, so should I ask it again? Um, I can't do that answer again. Let's try I, for, I already forget what I said. Why don't we try? How about this? Sure, what, what was the question? The question was, do you plan on staying in Milford Borough? Sorry. All right. Yeah, I do plan on staying. Um, I do plan on staying in Milford Borough. In Milford. Okay. Yes, I do plan on staying in Milford Borough. Uh, it's kind of been a family thing. My grandpa was born and raised in the borough itself. He graduated high school at what's now Joey's Pizza when it was uh, Milford High School. He met my grandma down at Bob's Beach, which is Milford Beach now, I think it is. Um, then they raised my mom and her sister here. They graduated Delaware Valley High School, and it just kind of keeps on going down the line, and me and my sister both graduated there. That was pretty close, right? Nailed it again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shook your head no, and I said, oh, shit. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good, but you said Milford's a great place to be, right? Was that the end, or it's a great place to be? Um, what was it? Oh, man. You can, we can both we can them together. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, so that was going to be a lot to remember. I was like, whew. No, you did really, really good. Um, okay, so we asked you who you are, what you do. Um, clearly, you've been here your whole life, why you serve the community, um, that you plan on staying here. Okay, how about this one? <clears throat> what do you think makes Milford so great? I think it's kind of just the smallness of the town, kind of how everybody knows everybody, and we know that if we need to pull together to get through something, we could pull together. Like last winter with that big snowstorm that came through, we kind of all joined together and got through it all together. Oh. That was a long stop question. I don't know if I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it was still pretty good. It was still pretty good. That's really true. You know, with everybody offering to let people shower at their houses yeah. and kick meals and yeah. Um, do you want to go one more round with that? No? no? I mean, if you want to. What do you think, Graham? Um, I didn't say the question when I answered the question. Mm -hmm. Was there, like, a situation you remember where somebody helped somebody else? Or, like, I don't know, something remarkable that happened? You don't have to, I don't know, just maybe a little more detail. But, um, the whole, you know, mm -hmm. sense of, like, community camaraderie, that's... Big. That's good stuff. Big. Yeah, really good stuff. Yeah, I don't know. You can just say something there. like, I love, you know, like the sense of community that we have. We look out for each other. All right. I'll try to put that together. Okay. It's kind of jumbled in my head, though, so don't hate me if it comes out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Kevin, what do you think makes Milford so great? I just think it's kind of a small town, how everybody knows everybody. Um, camaraderie that everybody has together and if we need to pull together to get through something we can like last winter with the big snowstorm you know we had people offering people help to like if they needed a shower if they needed to charge their phone so that their loved ones know they're okay we kind of just all came together and made it all work okay camaraderie that's a harder word to say than <laughs> I thought it was going to be <laughs> questions. I think that's pretty good. Um, do you feel good about it? Do you, is there anything you want me to re-ask you? I don't think so. That you want to re-answer? No? I don't think so. Because I forget all my answers now anyway, so. <laughs> Alright, well then you're done. <laughs>